only got $100 in my pocket. Only got $100 worth of clothes, $100 worth of One more content from our channel? Then all you have to do is hit the red subscribe button right now. Hey there guys, what's up and welcome back to our channel. Money is a huge part of rap culture. Rappers live to make money and continue making more, but every now and then, there are a few instances that some rappers go broke. Some of these rap artists go broke due to bad record deals, while others lost all their money because they mismanaged their funds. Let's go into details of the 10 rappers who went broke over the years. Number 10, Ja Rule. Ja Rule dominated the early 2000s because of all of his singles. Despite the hits trickling to a crawl around in 2004, he earned $3 million. Unfortunately, he failed to claim this income and was saddled with a $1.1 million bill. He was also sentenced to 28 months in prison for tax evasion. He faces dozens of lawsuits now. Ja Rule's continuous parties during the coronavirus lockdown faced endless ridicule. After that, he also faced criticism for the involvement in the Fire Festival scandal, although Ja Rule still says that it wasn't his fault. He is satisfied that he has the biggest festival in the world with the right partners. After the 1999 scandals, he has never reached the same heights again. This has more to do with the feuds with Eminem, and these two have been feuding on and off for close to 20 years now. What I think a lot of hip-hop fans think that Ja Rule is broke. You know, yeah, well, you know. Number 9, DMX. The industry stays in the dirt and plays in the dirt. DMX's presence on the track is definitely something you can feel. This guy has sold worth 1,700 million albums worldwide, which is an insane amount. DMX started to get noticed in the Source magazine in 1991. His song in 2002, Born Loser, didn't live up to the expectations of people and eventually, Columbia Records dropped DMX off. But he didn't stop and worked even harder. He dropped the song Rough Riders, which unfortunately did worse than the other two songs. It was all going well until 2002, after which he started falling out. It took him six years after 2003 to release an album. DMX was not focusing on the music as he used to. He started focusing on other legal substances that took his time away from the music. I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. I'll be here. New album. Number 8, Nelly. Nelly's voice was heard everywhere in the top 2000s. You couldn't stop the radio station without hearing it. Nelly first dabbled in the country music scene in 2004, teaming up with Tim McGraw, but even McGraw said that there was nothing about the country in the song at all. Nelly returned with a remix for Cruz. The song was again not a hit on the radar for hip-hop fans. Secondly, trouble with the law doesn't always negatively impact a celebrity's success, but legal problems can hinder creative developments and the business side of things. Nelly was charged in April 2015 with felony possession of illegal substances. The police reportedly found these illegal substances in his motor coach outside Nashville, Tennessee. His career started to fall ever since. Nelly, whose real name is Cornell Haynes, is charged with felony drug possession and possession of drug paraphernalia. Number 7, Bow Wow. There were numerous albums released of him only when he was a teen. He later went into acting, starring in many movies. In 2000, he fell behind on luxury car payments, and in 2012, he admitted that he was completely broke. Since then, Bow Wow is known as the new fraud king. He puts up a picture of a private jet, a Mercedes Sprinter, and he captioned it by saying, Travel day, the New York City press runs for growing up. Let's go. It was all good and well, except he didn't even get on a private jet. He got an economy class on United Airlines. His picture was leaked on Instagram by one of the passengers traveling on that plane. A famous rapper traveling in an economy airline? That's something to think about. <laughs> but on Instagram, he posted a picture of a private jet captioned traveling to New York today. Number six, Fat Joe. Fat Joe talked about his business partner stealing $200,000. He said that he was robbed by a man and he just couldn't believe it. He looked at his kid and said, you're robbing from yourself. 
He further added he didn't see that coming a mile away. He teamed up with a kid for a business, but unfortunately, the kid turned out to be a thief. He didn't just rob Fat Joe, but he robbed a lot of people. He claimed that it was directly connected to the store. That kid stole hundreds of thousands of dollars from Fat Joe. Fortunately, the thief soon went to prison. He said that he almost died and his whole body was shaking. I just couldn't believe it, man. I just sat there and I looked at this kid and I said, yo, bro, you're an owner. You're robbing from yourself, man. Number five, Lil' Kim. According to the report, the queen bee is in danger of losing her house and she may need some cash from other people. Rapper Lil' Kim is facing closure on her nearly $2 million home. After agreeing to the terms of bank officials, she's facing trouble over her mortgage payments. Reportedly, Kim was trying to work things out with bank officials, but soon the judge declared a foreclosure on the home. Back in 2014, she was hit for $120,000 for taxes and she reportedly owed $1.9 million payments, including interest and taxes. People were in hope Kim's brother might help her out. Thank you, yeah. It was, it was hard. Number four, Young Buck. Young Buck is reportedly broke and relying on his girlfriend. According to the reports, he has no house, no money in the bank, and no cash in his pockets. He has very few assets, including $100 of clothes and jewelry. He revealed that his only source of income is from the copyrights. Young Buck filed bankruptcy just last month. He owed the IRS hundreds of thousands of dollars, and in 2010, they stormed Bucks' house seizing numerous assets like watches and leather chairs. It was also revealed that Young Buck owed dozens of creditors over $11 million. From out of town, there to work, but he brought me out to experience. Number three, Exhibit. Exhibit went broke after Pimp My Ride. Excess, the production company for Pimp My Ride, told him, we'll fly you back from wherever you are to film this episode. He told them, okay, just give me $1 million. Exhibit says they refused his offer and replaced him with Houston, Texas rapper Chameleonaire for that episode. The show fell apart from there. He says at 646, it's sad because it was really a dope show. Exhibit was doing very well till the show started and thus began his downfall. All that stuff, I know how that felt. And I knew how it felt when it, it didn't seem to be happening for me anymore. Number two, MC Hammer. MC Hammer went bankrupt saving the black community. He lost $30 million trying to contribute to the community. He once used to have a big private jet and he, along with other black people, traveled on that jet. He explained that he had to help the people because they were dying due to the homicides. Some of them were his classmates. He eventually dug himself a $13 million hole and filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in 2011. He was almost given $780,000 from the IRS for unpaid taxes. It just showed that the IRS will always get you in the end. Number 1. Designer Brooklyn rapper Designer went into trouble when he unleashed his massive anthem Panda on December 15, 2015. His career went down when there was a release of the Designer's debut mixtape on June 22, 2016. Aside from being top-notch in all the billboards across the United States, there really weren't any standout singles outside of the previously released Panda and it didn't receive any great reviews. None of his songs worked great after that. Been no day, 50 shots in the chaotic spray. Get tackled by bullets, you get in my way. My life is a game, so I'm ready to play. I'm smelling like cool while you sniffing that game. Let us know your thoughts about the downfall of these artists in the comments below while also hitting the like button and sharing this video with your friends and family as well as subscribing if you haven't already. Catch you guys in the next episode.